Call the meeting to order and ask Captain Robert to the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Call the roll. Call the roll. All right, we have a copy of the agenda here on the roll, roll. roll for the audience to see. Yeah. Roll. Mm. Roll. All right. Um, yes, we do need a roll call. I skipped it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Councilwoman Brown. Here. Uh, Councilman Weaver. Here. Councilman Brock. Here. Councilman Watson. Here. Councilman Barton. Here. Mayor Lovelace. Here. We have a quorum to do business. Approval of the minutes from the last meeting. Uh, council members have a copy of the uh, minutes from the uh, meeting of January 23rd, 2017. Are there any additions or deletions? Uh, hearing none. Um, Make a motion to approve the minutes from last meeting. Second. Okay. Uh, we have a motion from uh, Councilman uh, Broughton and a second one from uh, Councilman Weaver uh, to approve the minutes as uh, as presented. Uh, is there any discuss any other discussion um, here? If there is none, uh, Councilwoman Brown. Yes. Councilman Weaver. Yes. Councilman Broughton. Yes. Councilman Watson. Yes. Councilman Barton. Yes. Uh, the minutes are approved as presented. I'd like to welcome our visitors here. I appreciate y'all all coming today. Ms. Hamilton being on time. <laughs> I have a proclamation for uh, Arbor Week that I'd like to read. A proclamation and recognition of Arbor Day in the city of Bruton. Whereas the economic and aesthetic welfare of the people of Alabama is largely dependent on the trees and forest lands of the state, and whereas everyone in the city of Bruton benefits either directly or indirectly from trees and forest lands, and whereas trees provide jobs, products, habitat for wildlife and recreation opportunities, and whereas trees provide oxygen, help purify the air, play an important role in the water cycle, help neutralize wastewater and stabilize the soil. And whereas trees are an invaluable physical and psychological addition to the city, provide shade, cool the air, reduce noise level and glare, and whereas the management of trees increase their benefit to our city through planning, maintenance, timely removal and replacement, and whereas well-maintained town trees benefit present and future generations, now, therefore, the mayor and the city council of the city of Bruton do hereby proclaim the week of February 19th through 25th, 2017 as Arbor Week and encourage each citizen to participate in the tree planting activities during this week. And this has been signed by the mayor and all of the council. The next item is the agenda, and I believe there's one addition to the agenda. Yes, uh, we had uh, we added under old business uh, number G or letter G, uh, and what we're uh, we'll have there is a motion to uh, be asking for a motion to set the date for a hearing um, for a public hearing under the 94.01 section uh, to uh, hear the approval of uh, grant monies for. Um, I forgot Lisa McMillan? It's Lisa McMillan. I forgot the name of the, um, the business. Or the Is it Carlisa? That's it. Carlisa. I think it's Carlisa. Yeah. I think it's Carlisa. Carlisa. It's the business. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's, that is added as letter G. And the date that is proposed for that? Uh, the public hearing, the earliest date would be March 13th because we have to do the publication prior to. Right. Are there any other additions or deletions to the agenda? If there are none, uh, 
all in favor of approving the agenda as it pre as presented signify by saying aye aye, aye. all opposed nay uh, there are none uh, the ayes have it and the agenda is approved Next several item of resolutions um, for uh, under section 94.01 uh, public funds can be used uh, and given to private entities if it promotes economic and industrial development in our city and uh, the city council has deliberated and we've held public hearings and we've met with uh, uh, the first one is, is Antigone. He's met with this entity, uh, looked at their business plan. And so the first resolution uh, is 17 0213. Mayor, um, just as a point of order, in the last meeting, we approved the expenditures of these. Um, I've rewritten uh, new uh, resolutions uh, to include all the information needed, and we've, uh, you know, we're having to approve these after after the public hearing we had not previously approved similar almost the same resolutions back in december but uh, we approved this uh, we approved the expenditures last meeting so what we're doing is officially approving these as of the last meeting uh-huh do you need a motion to approve yes i think so off a motion to approve resolution number 17-02-13. Second. Motion by Councilman Watson, second by Councilman Broughton uh, to approve uh, resolution 17-02-13 uh, for grant funds for Antigone. Uh, is there any discussion? Uh, hearing none. Uh, Councilwoman Brown? Yes. Councilman Weaver? Yes. Councilman Broughton? Yes. Councilman Watson? Yes. Councilman Barton? Yes. Motion passes and the Antigone <coughs> resolution is approved. Next item is a similar resolution, this one for Purple Paisley LLC. Again, this was passed before, but this is mm -hmm. the correct form. Hmm. I'm on motion to approve 17-0213-1. Second. Okay. Motion by Councilwoman Brown, second by Councilman Watson uh, for approval of resolution 17-0213-1. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, Councilwoman Brown? Yes. Councilman Weaver? Yes. Councilman Broughton? Yes. Councilman Watson? Yes. Councilman Barton? Yes. Motion passes and the Purple Paisley resolution is approved. Next item again is a similar resolution for the Chief Samuel, uh, resolution 17 02 Make a motion we approve. Resolution 17-0213-2. Second. Motion by Councilman Broughton, second by Councilman Weaver uh, to approve uh, Resolution 17-0213-2. Is there any discussion? Uh, hearing none, Councilwoman Brown? Yes. Councilman Weaver? Yes. Councilman Broughton? Yes. Councilman Watson? Abstain. Councilman Bart? Yes. Uh, motion passes and the resolution 16 i mean 17 0213 2 uh, is approved um, next item is a summer resolution for blue ridge capital llc that's resolution 17 0213 3. we're off the motion we approve uh 17 0213-3 Second. Motion by Councilman Watson, second by Councilman Barton uh, to approve resolution 17 0213 3. Is there any 
further discussion. Hearing none, Councilwoman Brown? Yes. Councilman Weaver? Yes. Councilman uh, Broughton? Yes. Councilman Watson? Yes. Councilman Barton? Yes. Uh, motion passes and the Blue Ridge resolution is approved. The next resolution is a similar resolution for Outdoor Adventures LLC, resolution 17-0213-4. I make a motion we approve resolution number 17-0213-4. Second. Chief Weaver, then Thies Broughton. Um, Councilman Weaver, the motion. Yes. Okay. And the second by Councilman Broughton. Um, to approve resolution 17-0213-4. Is there any further discussion? Hearing none, Councilwoman Brown? Yes. Councilman Weaver? Yes. Councilman Broughton? Yes. Councilman Watson? Yes. Councilman Barton? Yes. Uh, motion passes and the Outdoor Adventures resolution is approved. Next item is a lease City of Bruton with Corey Development Inc. This lease is a uh, five year lease with a one year, uh, a five year extension on it. It can also, it's got a special clause in it that it can be canceled uh, after one year, any, any one year, if the budget of the city doesn't allow us to pay. Uh, the cost of the lease is $5,000 a month. The building will be used by uh, a merchant's mark and also the, uh, a welcome center uh, occupied by the Chamber of Commerce. We have a motion to be approved at least agreement. Second. Motion by Councilman Watson, second by Councilman Barton. Uh, is there any discussion? Hearing none, Councilwoman Brown? Yes. Councilman Weaver? Yes. Councilman Broughton? Yes. Councilman Watson? Yes. Councilman Barton? Yes. Motion passes and the uh, lease, the Gordy Development lease is approved. The next item is a motion to set a public hearing under section 94.01 of the Constitution uh, for an economic development grant as requested by Lisa McMillan doing business as Carlisa. Uh, and the date being set after publication for that hearing would be March the 13th. I make that motion to approve it. Second. Second. Motion by Councilman Watson, second by Councilman Barton uh, to approve the uh, public hearing for March 13th for Carlisa. Um, is there any discussion? Uh, hearing none, Councilman, Councilwoman Brown. Yes. Councilman Weaver? Yes. Councilman Brock? Yes. Councilman Watson? Yes. Councilman Bart? Yes. Motion passes and the hearing uh, will be set for March 13th. The next item is approval of the accounts payable. Ms. Motion with accounts payable. Second. Motion by Councilman Broughton. Second by Councilman Barton. Uh, to prove the account payable. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, uh, Councilwoman Brown. Yes. Councilman Weaver. Yes. Councilman Broughton. Yes. Councilman Watson. Yes. Councilman Barton. Yes. Motion passes and the accounts payable are approved. Next item is approval. Uh, Bruton Area Properties LLC uh, donated to the city approximately 20 acres of property and I would say it's the property located between basically between the Bruton Standard and O'Bannon Park valued at uh, around $59,000. So it's resolution 17-0213-5. Offer that motion to approve 17-0213-5. Second. Motion by Councilman Watson, second by Councilman Broughton uh, to approve the uh, 
Bruton Area Properties gift resolution. Is there any discussion? <coughs> Hearing none, Councilwoman Brown? Yes. <coughs> Councilman Weaver? Yes. Councilman Broughton? Yes. Councilman Watson? Yes. Councilman Barton? Yes. A motion passes and resolution 17-0213-5 is approved. And now for the shortest part of the program, I call on Earl Lambert. Good evening, Mayor and Council. Um, my purpose here, oh, by the way, uh, well, all of you know me, but I'll, I'll, I'll start over on that, use up my time here. Uh, I'm uh, Earl Lambert, and I manage the airport for the city. And I've got a piece of business here. Uh, I'm, I'm here to petition the Council to authorize the mayor to sign a new uh, operating agreement between the uh, city of Bruton and uh, NAS Whiting Field. And it's, it's listed as a letter of agreement. And this, we've been, we've been operating under a similar letter of agreement for uh, 19 years. Uh, it, not, it hasn't been updated in that length of time. I will say this, uh, do all of you have a copy where you furnished a copy? Uh, it's a lot of uh, airplane aviation jargon, if you will, and, and I'm open to if, any questions on it, but I will say this, we're currently operating under this agreement, and what we, what, the reason I say that, you might say, well, it hasn't been signed, but what we've done with the old agreement over this 19-year period, as little things would change or little things would come up, we would make corrections in our the way we operate, doing certain things, talking on the radio and the way we fly pattern and the altitudes and just who who speaks on the radio and who doesn't and who we let on the field and who we don't. This is this has been kind of a developmental thing to create this agreement over the years. Uh, our old one just kept being marked up and marked up and it was showing its age. So uh, we sat down with the uh, appropriate uh, people at Whiting and myself and the airport board has endorsed this for your, for your approval. Uh, they don't have any problems with it and, it, and I carried it before uh, Ed Hine, city attorney. And uh, I will say again, I don't want to make light of this agreement, but it's not a contract, it's, and it doesn't involve monies. It's just kind of the rules of the road, how we, the city of Bruton, which is civil, we operate with the Navy, which is military. So we we co-mingle, and, and I will say it's working, uh, I'm, I'm a little prejudiced, but it's working very well. On general terms, every day. We just need a motion to approve. Yes, I, I'd like a motion for the, the uh, for the mayor to execute uh, several copies, and then uh, they'll execute theirs and send us a couple back. I so move. Second. Motion by Councilman Barton. Second by Councilman Broughton uh, to approve the uh, letter of agreement uh, with NAS Whiting Field. Uh, is there any discussion? Hearing none, Councilwoman Brown? Yes. Councilman Weaver? Yes. Councilman Brock? Yes. Councilman Watson? Yes. Councilman Bart? Yes. Motion passes and the letter of agreement is approved. I would like to say that I met with the airport committee and Earl Lambert um, the other day and they are doing an outstanding job. I commend you for that with the airport. Uh, if anybody hadn't been out there lately, there's a major construction project going on with a new taxiway, and uh, everything is in really good shape out there. So I, I commend you for that and your committee. Thank you. Appreciate you all's time. And I'll call on Edie Kelly. Good afternoon, Mayor Lovelace and uh, council members. Um, I'm here as um, the director of Paws Cross Dog Rescue, which benefits our Bruton area and our East Bruton area. And we are um, looking for approval for our 5K wagon walk 
um, run that we're having at O'Bannon Park, um, hopefully on March 4th, and it would be at 8 o'clock in the morning. Uh, Chief McGugan has signed off on it. We will not need police support um, because we will we'll not be crossing any roads. We'll be using the field, and uh, we're looking for approval for that. And all money that is uh, donated or raised with our event will go into um, supporting the local dogs that we are taking into our rescue. And that's what we're looking for today. Um, and we would all love you to come out and participate and exercise with your animals if you would like to. Any questions? Look, motion we approve. Second. Motion by Councilman Brawl. Second by Councilman Barton uh, to approve the wagon walk. Wagon walk. <laughs> pause, pause, at O'Bannon Park. Um, is there any other discussion? Yes. Um, Edie? Yes, sir. Do you have poop bags for your dogs? We will have poop bags for our dogs. We will have a water station. We will have the disposal area. We will have trash cans available, and that'll all go out with us. Will you we'll use your poop bags? <laughs> I hope so, because I use mine at the dog park. So, yes, sir, we will. Very good. Thank I'm you. very responsible. Thank you. Thank you. Any further discussion? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question, though. That's a good question. <laughs> yeah. um, hearing none, Councilwoman Brown? Yes. Councilman Weaver? Yes. Councilman Brock? Yes. Councilman Watts? Yes. Councilman Bart? Yes. Uh, motion passes, and the wagon walk is approved. Thank you very much. I Thank appreciate you. that. Any announcements or comments? I have none. Motion adjourned.